Good, 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 good evening. This is Kev here to drive you crazy, and welcome back to another edition of Driven the Boston Red Sox baseball. Let's just jump straight into this game against the Boston Red Sox and the Kansas City Royals, where the Red Sox take a win seven to six. And the um, top of the first inning, we have Merrifield hitting himself a solo home run, putting up Kansas City one nothing. Bottom of the first inning, we have J.D. Martinez having a single, bringing in Kike Hernandez, tying up the game, and then followed up by Bogarts being able to get another single as well to be able to score Alex Verdugo. In the top of the second inning, we have Michael Taylor be able to have a single himself, scoring uh, Hunter Dozier, making it tie 2-2. Two -to -two. Hunter Renfro on the bottom of the third inning, also having a sacrifice fly, being able to make J.D. Martinez score, bringing up Boston back to 3-2. to two. Michael Taylor comes back on the top of the fourth inning to have a home run, also scoring Dozier, bringing up the Royals 4-3. to three. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Kike Hernandez has himself a single, allowing Danny Santana to score, tying it back up at 4-4. Four to four. And then J.D. Martinez having himself a sacrifice fly, allowing Bobby Dahl back to score, making Boston back up 5-4. to four. On the top of the fifth inning, O'Hearn, excuse me, it makes a home run, allowing J uh, Carlos Santana to be able to score, bringing back up the Kansas City Royals six to five. And then in the bottom of the sixth inning, J.D. Martinez has himself a double, allowing Chavis and Verdugo to score, giving us our final score of seven to six. The Kansas City Royals having 13 hits with one error, and Boston having 12 hits with one error. Rios taking the win in this game, going 2-0 now. Brents goes to 2-1, and, and Matt Barn having himself his 18th save of the season. Just going over some of the highlights of the day, Merrifield going the 2-4, for four. Santana 1-4, for O'Hearn 3-5 for five today, Dozier going 2-4, for four. Taylor is 3-3 three for three today. All together, having the... Six RBIs, only three walks, 11 strikeouts though, going four for the 13 in runners with scoring position and eight left on base. Looking at the Boston side of things, Kike Hernandez goes two for four. Verdugo is one for three. JD Martinez has a two for two game with his two walks and four RBIs. Bogart's going one for four. Hunter Renfro, one for three. Danny Santana having himself another hit in this game, one for four today, and Bobby Dahlbeck actually going two for three. Five for 13 with runners in scoring position with nine left on base. Both teams had a fair amount of uh, steals and a few double plays as well. Keller goes five innings for the Royals, going 10 hits, six runs, all earned five walks. Brent's Goes one inning with the one hit, one run earned, one walk, three strikeouts. And Holiday going, Holland, excuse me, is two innings, one hit, one walk, one strikeout. Pavetta going four and one thirds inning, allowing nine hits, six runs, all earned, two walks, five strikeouts, but giving up three home runs in this game. Rios goes in for the one and two thirds inning, only allowing one walk and one strikeout. Hernandez goes in for the one complete inning. For two hits with one strikeout, Ottavino going in for the one inning with two hits and one strikeout as well. Barnes finishing off with three strikeouts to complete this game. Looking out for the series and uh, series game right now, we'll be finishing off with Mike Miner, who is six and five with a 5.12 ERA, and Martin Perez, who is also five and four with a 4.09 ERA. The Red Sox are going to be looking to get themselves this victory and the clean sweep against the Kansas City Royals after having the series lost to them the previous week. So it is going to be a good game back and forth once again. How yesterday's game was, how versing this game was today. It really shows that this group of uh, teams can be able to have a great set of games. Obviously, one run games deciding both and the fact that both of them come back from back and forth as well as come from, be uh, come from behind wins. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you appreciated this, leave a like for me. It helps me out a lot. Leave a comment for anything that you want to share with me. And of course, I have my subscription button right over here. So that way you can continue following me for more content. My name is Cab and I am here to drive you crazy. Aloha, God bless, and take care.